Dow, P here. Um, this is quick uh, for the most part. A um, couple of, this week I had one uh, experience with uh, becoming aware of the simulator, uh, which was as a, like a board game or a, like Jeopardy TV uh, game show. And uh, the main thing I'm saying about it is that the, the, face of it would change and the uh, uh let's say it was like a tic-tac-toe box if it was a game i sort of thought of it uh, in that way for a short bit to represent um and in this case it would be like you had nine boxes like a tic-tac-toe in the middle box um it, it, or any of the nine boxes you would pick one and then that box would open up into another tic-tac-toe of nine boxes around it. So it'd be like saying, okay, um, Shirley MacLaine, who is she? And then a, the box pops out and then you've got eight things that the contestants would guess about that character, that actress, and uh, things that she did or what have you. One of them was raising consciousness. So it was interesting that we talked about this in relation to this game show idea uh, that was a presentation of the dream I had about the simulator and how it works and how it gathers our attention, takes our attention. It would be like a, um, uh, focusing in on all of our subconscious, uh, all of our lifetimes and our subconscious valuations of them and then making a choice about what we're going to do with it or are we going to repeat it in another lifetime. Like that, you know, I mean, the game has infinite variations and so forth. It's always about uh, keeping our attention uh, uh, or focusing our attention and uh, both sides sort of the good value of becoming aware through uh, having the function of our own real awareness and our own attention um, and recognition. So... Um, that's on the good side. On the bad side, it's a, a hypnotic uh, illusion um, matrix uh, gathering um, uh, hypnotism, um, uh, whatever words, you know, um, that would uh, coordinate that idea. And uh, so we always have the choice. And that's kind of what I think that simulator dream was about by Kevin's uh, it's presented by Kevin's reading also a similarity there of that choice and, and our position of being involved with it and but then going hey what is it um, uh, and if I could now real quickly uh, I have one other uh, experience with a friend of mine I just met it's a person I met on the golf course and he said that uh, he had a lot of trouble, and about two years ago, um, he returned to playing golf and reteaching himself how to play and re-educating himself uh, completely. And that's very similar to, I think, what I can say my experience is in, in, in the golf course. Yes, I have gone back and uh, done the re-education and really, really progressed uh, I mean, exceptionally there at the point as my experience happened today where I was just out practicing and a couple of young guys came along and I saw the, some poor shots. So I walked up to them and I've done this with many people and I started, I showed them how to do it in less than five minutes. And he hit this beautiful, great shot and um, thanked me. And I, I said to him, uh, I'd like you to, you know, subscribe. I put, have some videos and different things and so forth. And, and uh, would you like to find out more? Uh, you know, he said, yeah, it sounds really good. I mean, it really got the whole presentation. So I was acting within this golf simulation as using it as a vehicle. And I think that's what we're talking about, where each of us has a position uh, in various places and, and universes and wherever um, that we are working with our characteristics 
um, and our connection points. Uh, but the difference is, of course, the position of working with you all is. That's so fantastic. And what that, the reading was, Kevin read, and it was just perfect. Uh, and almost every time I hear a, re a reading here, it's just perfect with what's going on with uh, whatever, some kind of experience I'm having, et cetera. So beautiful. And I really want to share that in the nicest way if I can. Thanks, pal.